welcome back to my channel. It's Maria Nicole here. I am back, you guys. I've been missing MIA for the past two weeks, and I'm sorry about that. There is a little bit something different about me. I have longer hair, which um, if you've seen my other three videos, you would see that my hair was a little bit shorter. But I really wanted to do a different look and change it up a little bit. So I hope you guys like it. If you do, comment down below. Also, if you guys want to see makeup tutorials here on this channel, please let me know. If I get at least 20 likes on this video, I will start doing makeup tutorials because I really wasn't planning on doing it on here. But if you guys want them, I will be more than happy to film a video here for you guys. Without ado, let's get started with this video. I don't want to keep you guys for too long, so let's get started. So I will be talking about the non-clothing items first and then work my way up to showing you guys the clothes so the first item that I have is this bag from BCBG generation I got it on sale guys like this store is pretty expensive majority of their stuff is around 180 and I got this bag for 32 bucks it was originally 180 and then it was 50% off plus 30% off so I was like I might as well buy it and I thought it was gonna be so much smaller than it actually is but it has so much room in here and I can stuff literally anything and then try to adjust it so I'm really looking forward to wearing this back soon so I also bought this at my local boutique, these glasses. They're called Key Australia or something like that. And I've been seeing a lot of YouTubers wear them lately and I've just been like, oh, I have to give me a pair. And I'm the type of person, if it's only online, I don't really wanna purchase some glasses that are really not gonna frame my face and I have to send them back. But luckily they were there and I found a good pair and I went to MAC because it was right next to the boutique and I bought a few items. I got this bronzer from there. It's called Blunt and it's super pretty, I feel like, but it really brings me back that color and I'm, I've been loving it. I bought the foundation powders for um, setting my foundation. It is called Dark Deepest. It has been amazing. Like look at how pigmented it is it's like it's so beautiful I've been really enjoying this I and I bought this illuminizer it's pretty for highlighting your face after you do all your makeup look at how pretty this is it will look good on any skin color and I feel like if you are looking for something that is kind of cheap because MAC is not that pricey but it is and and gives you that beautiful highlight I feel like you should get this one it's called global glow by the way and I got this brow gel from there it's called dip down and it really frames how my eyebrows look and you just have to be careful because if you put too much it will look like way way too much on your eyebrows i used to really overdraw them before and it wasn't a pretty sight so don't put too much and then i went to sephora as well and bought this urban decay setting spray i've been using my uns for a while now and i fi i finally decided that i need to get my own but i bought the smaller one because i really don't wear makeup every single day so i was just like might as well get a small one for cheaper and then when I start wearing makeup more often I will buy the bigger one so of course there's a forever 21 everywhere in every single mall and I found these beautiful booties in there and I'm so happy because I've been really looking for these for months I kept going in there and they all they had was seven seven and a half I'm like no your girl is not a seven and a half I need an eight and a half okay um, I finally found them it gives you that peekaboo thing in the back of your foot the the heel is very chunky so it won't hurt your feet and I was just like I'm, I'm amazed I'm in love like these are my new babies so let's get into the clothes you guys the first item that I purchased is this romper from that same boutique that I got the glasses from this is so pretty look at how well it goes with my skin tone the front is like a crisscross like type detail I say don't tie it because it starts looking funny in the in the middle part area but it's super cute has a peekaboo in the back as well 
and the, the sleeves are not long at all like normal rompers they always have the long sleeve on the top and then the shorts on the bottom the only thing I recommend if you have like a romper like this one is to put a belt around it because when I wore it the other day it was scrunching up because of the scrunchy part here and I just really didn't like it it was like making me look like I had a onesie on that was like, mm -mm. but it's super cute. And next time I know that I need to wear a wear a belt to make sure that it evens it out. I went to Zara as well. I purchased these pants from there. It they are very inexpensive compared to like how other pants are that are really good quality. I bought them for seventy bucks. I know, I know that is kind of pricey, but. If you want something that will last for a long time, I don't know if they'll last forever, but for a long period of time, I I see I say spend like 70 bucks on some pants because you're always gonna need them. They're always gonna be in style and, and well. they are a bluish, grayish color and it has a little bit of distress right. I went to Amber Coming Finch and found some pants on sale. Like I've never found anything I liked in clearance before and I really found these. I was looking for something. I was going out to my my friend's birthday party and I was like I need something. She's like just casual and I bought these pants. I've been really loving this green color lately. This one and the darker olive green. Been loving it. The pants don't have a zipper though. It's like buttons all the way up. But I like that effect. I mean, long nails and it is like a pain sometimes, but I love, I love how it shapes my body. So I'm okay with butting up a few buttons here and there. And the pockets, are, there's two pockets in the back and two pockets in the front and it has a lot of storage to put your phone and other items you want. I went to Brandy Melville. I had to drive a mission to get there, but it, it was totally fine. Um, I bought this bomber jacket from there. It's like that olive color, like I said, I've been obsessed with. And I just really love how oversized it is because of course it is one size fit all at the store. So everything is like a little bit bigger than your original size. but. It was it was perfectly fine. I matched it with this outfit and I was like, this is it. This is life. So I'm glad I purchased it. And another thing I bought from Brandy Melville is I only bought two things sadly, but I need to go back. And the other thing I purchased is this sweater from there. It is a grayish type color. Sorry I'm blocking my face, but it's a gray color with like checker knitted print on it, but it's really beautiful and really warm. I had to wear I hope you guys like this clothing haul. And if you do want to see more of me, please let me know in the comments down below and like this video because I will start doing makeup tutorials if I get those 20 likes. And please subscribe if you are new to my channel and I hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye!